Hi again everyone, Adrian Hughes here with another video and today we're taking a look at the Android Marshmallow update for the ASUS Zenfone 2 ZE551ML. So this is the last model, pretty much the first model released for the Zenfone 2 range and, and the main model that's been selling to receive the Android Marshmallow update. So we'll just take a quick look at the settings here to see the versioning number so we're on 6.0.1 with the September Android security patch level 4.21.40.134. So what's new in this update? Uh, Google logo has changed there, if you can see. Um, basically a lot of the apps have changed. So if we go into, say for example, the battery, uh, battery the power management, power saver, these are a lot of um, server, not server, app updates that have uh, come over the last few months. So a lot of the iconography here, so camera gallery and all that have been updated through the Play Store. And that pretty much um, mirrors what's come on the new this Zenfone free range. So if we take a quick look at the, the benchmarks here. Now for comparison, the single core score for Geekbench free was in the 700s on Android Lollipop and only about 2200 for the multi-core score. So this has improved along with the Antutu benchmark which has gone from 54,000 to about 58,000 here now. So I have noticed this uh, has improved quite significantly. Fluid animations abound here with this update. So if I go through Twitter here, as you can see, it just goes in quite nicely there. Uh, the same with that. It's a little bit slow and janky because I am doing screen recording here, so it is a little bit smoother. But on the Android Lollipop update, that will be a lot, lot, lot jankier animation. What else does Android Marshmallow bring? Brings uh, faster installs of apps. So if I go here, for example, install CPUZ. So it's just downloading it now. And if we install it, so as you can see, it didn't ask for an installation prompt as Android Marshmallow permissions do. As you can see, it's all done. So if you know, that would have taken probably two or three times longer on the um, Android Lollipop update. So if we go into the apps themselves, the app settings menu here, does load uh, a bit faster and it's not as um, janky. Uh, a lot, lot smoother. If we do an uninstall, it wasn't too slow on Lollipop, but if we do it here, it's pretty much faster. Bang, done. Uh, what else is new? So if we take a screenshot here, we now have the option to delete it in addition to sharing it, which is quite handy. And we have the tap to manage notifications here, which does go into notification settings. So that is a nice reminder there. Um, Zen UI launchers had a few changes over the last couple of app updates for that. You can see pretty much smooth there. Weather app has had a change, so it's moon here is highlighted in yellow oh, and just white as it was before um, all in all it's a pretty solid update it has improved the speed and the fluidity and the smoothness of this device quite a bit so I'm only running the two gigabyte version here and the free RAM is only about 300 or 400 megs so that hasn't changed at all but Zoot has removed a lot of the bloatware so that has helped uh, we no longer are able to move the apps to the SD card, unfortunately. This is a much nicer thing. So before you update, it's uh, best that you move them all back to device storage if you have installed them on your micro SD memory card. So that's it for this look at the Marshmallow update. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, kudos to Azus for bringing such a fantastic update here, which has smoothed out the performance of this device. And it's good to see them 
keeping on top of things 18 months later after the release of this device as well so which will make many owners very very happy so thanks again for watching and i'll see you on the next one